very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking i'm really again very proud of our results in the forex premium group and that is because the market right now is getting really crazy and it's hard to trade especially because the u.s elections are just a few days ahead and the market as i said is really unstable right now but however we managed to keep our profits coming and thankfully even if there was some few losses here and there we were able to recover them with bigger profits i'm just scrolling here in front of you uh, the premium group results and these are the signals that we have sent to the premium group please pay attention uh, to the pound pairs we have made 30 pips uh, from the pound aud uh, 30 pips profit from the pound cad against one small loss of uh, nine pips on the euro aud i believe this is what extreme trader is really the best above our other uh, signals providers um we are actually closing the trades in loss to minimize the losses we prevent any signal from reaching the stop loss pay attention here for example pound chf 60 pips of profit pound pound jpy 60 pips of profit against 12 pips of loss for the aud cad euro aud uh, 20 pips euro ust 14 pips uh, pound jpy also 30 pips and thankfully the members actually were really happy for the uh, experience let me just show you the messages that we have received recently from the members uh, these are the screenshots that they have taken as we can see thankfully the members are really happy with the results and yes thank you angela for work with uh, for uh, work done well off for day i just closed my trade at take profit one to secure my profit really great you guys rock and i'm very happy for the results he have made if you pay attention he have made more than 100 actually about, uh, almost 200 dollars in just one day fantastic and i'm very happy for the clients so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there all right so now moving to the weekly analysis of course the analysis this week is going to be totally different we are not going to make any uh, signals as you used to see uh, this week is going to be an exceptional of course because of the elections in the united states which is going to be taking place on this uh, coming tuesday on 3rd november now of course we just need to analyze the market to know exactly what we should be expecting as a traders what are the options that are waiting for us and what should we do actually shall we open the trades before or during or after the elections all of that i'm gonna answer in this video so this is gonna be a short video only where i'm just gonna tell you what we can expect from the market and after the announcement of the results i'm gonna actually post uh, or actually i'm gonna re uh, replace the midweek analysis video with another weekly analysis video which is hopefully gonna be lasting for this week and for the next week as well now we need to understand first something here we we cannot really agree on something actually you will see um a variety of traders all of them having their own points all of them having the, their own perspectives on how to trade on the market or trading forex during the elections it's not really the same as before let me please explain the reason so let's just first open the chart of the us dollar currency index and as you can see of course this is the chart and i want to do something here i want to move to the past to november 2016 when mr trump has won his election and has become the new president of the united states as you can see we need to track the history to expect what's going to happen but however i mean i think it's going to be useless let me i will explain the reason so by checking the history this is exactly what happened and uh, this is of course the daily candles on the us dollar currency index and as we can see this uh, this strong movement on the market after an announcing the winning of mr trump as the president and the market has actually started to rally and as we can see the market has actually made a break out from this strong key resistance level not only one but another second resistance level uh, let me just zoom out to show you exactly this one right here as we can see there is the strong resistance level on 100.420 which was actually holding the position for a long time and the market has actually made a strong reverse 
immediately just after touching that level uh, not only one time but twice actually and then right after the winning of the elections by mr trump he uh, the market actually has made the breakout from that resistance twice so now some people actually they are expecting by the way i forgot to say something very important um this analysis or actually this explanation about what we should do about uh, trading uh, on the election day i'm gonna be sure to be picking very simple words and very easy terms so i hope everyone can understand it especially the beginners and because i am aware that most of my followers on this channel um, are beginners who are learning forex and let's be honest i mean english is not my native language and i really cannot talk too much about how to trade on the elections i know how to speak it how to say it in arabic of course but uh let's just make it as much as simple as possible and i'm going to choose just to the points uh directly without uh, making it your making your life miserable or making it uh, complex i'm the point is I'm going to try to avoid any kind of complexity and I'm going to use simple words and hopefully we're not going to make it complicated to anyone at all. And I'm just going to be straightforward telling you what we should do, what we should be, we should be expecting. So what I was telling you here is that the market has actually made the, the bullish breakout from that resistance twice uh, after the uh, elections happened in 2016. However, uh, the same we cannot really expect it to happen again uh, this year because there is something actually controlling the market more than the elections which is of course corona virus sadly this this uh, this pandemic has actually taken its place on the uh, on the in the events and let's be honest here the u.s government has announced like two months ago that they are going to release the vaccine for the COVID-19 virus um, in the United States first and they said they were going to announce it, to release it actually in November or maximum by December. Now from my point of view this is exact, exactly what's gonna rise or actually control the market. Uh, I think it's not the winning of Mr. Biden or Trump again to be uh, re-elected for the second term of his presidency. Uh, I think let me just make it very simple and very clear straightforward. Let's and um, let's assume that Mr. Trump will win the second term of his of his presidency. What we can expect from the market? Well, of course, uh, the first thing is going to be affected is the stock market, and of course, the stock market is going to affect um, the other markets, and of course, the forex market is one of them. It's going to, of course, affect also the go the oil and the other commodities such as gold, silver, and of course, the Dow Jones uh, indicator as well. So we need to clear first here that if Mr. Trump wins his second term, a second term of the presidency, the market, in my opinion, uh, the U.S. dollar currency is going to be affected very uh, slightly. It's going to be just like a shock. Um, we can expect from the pair to rise. Actually, the U.S. dollar currency is definitely going to rise and we can expect from it to reach this resistance of 94.620 and most likely what will gonna happen is that the market actually gonna break out from that resistance and it's gonna fly its way up all the way to the support uh the, the previous support at the level 96.0 after that if i'm not mistaken the market is gonna be calming down and a, a correction is gonna start it again and the market will reverse right from that resistance so that is what we're gonna have what will gonna happen in my opinion if mr trump wins However, what is going to happen if Mr. Joe Biden wins the elections? Here's the totally different story. He is, here is where we are actually swimming in the uncharted water. Because Mr. Joe Biden has a completely different, uh, different, um, different way or different strategies in uh, his leadership. Um, he have a totally different way of handling the pandemic or the coronavirus in the United States. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump has a, ha, almost have no way at all of controlling the virus there. And I believe most of the nation are not pleased by the way he's handling the pandemic. And that is actually affecting uh, the, the people there. And sadly, the numbers of the cases and the deaths are increasing in the United States. Meanwhile, Mr. Joe Biden, he has his own uh, theories and his own uh, ways to control the pandemic. And I think if I'm not mistaken, the first thing he's going to announce 
could be a lockdown in some states and of course uh, forcing the, the mask whatever it is i mean also we can we gonna witness some changes in his uh, relationship with china with europe with russia so there are a lot of scenarios gonna happen if mr joe biden wins the elections but if i'm not mistaken and from my point of view the first thing we can witness on the us dollar currency index is that the pair is gonna actually start the fall immediately the dollar itself is gonna getting weaker that is gonna be the first impression in my opinion and i hopefully uh, hopefully i'm correct and the pair or sorry the us usd dollar currency index gonna fall all the way down to the support at the price of 92 and i believe if i'm not mistaken also it's gonna continue falling all the way to 90 or 91 actually not 92 yes 91 uh, that is what i'm expecting from the pair if mr joe biden wins the elections and regarding gold and other commodities uh, I don't think if Mr. Trump wins the elections, um, the gold won't be really affected that much. We can expect from the gold to actually rise a little bit only. Uh, however, we can see we can see a correction later because I think the gold seems like it's going to go down. But we need to see a major breakout from the strong support level. This one right here. We need to see a major breakout from the support on 1861.40 otherwise we really cannot expect much from the gold most likely actually the gold won't be that much it won't be affected that bad by the elections um if we want to check what happened in the history we can scroll down to see or scroll back to see what happened uh, during november 2016 how was the gold being affected by the elections and sure enough we can see right here uh, we are on the daily candles. We need to look for 9th of November. That is the candle happened on 9th of November. Of course, it happened because of the uh, USD dollar currency itself was affected. And of course, that has affected the gold itself. And as we can see, this major drop happened right here. So if in case Mr. Mr. Trump has won the elections, most likely the gold won't affect that it, it may it might get affected for short term only we might see of course uh, a shock on the market for like one or two days maximum however the correction is going to happen immediately right away and the market is going to get calm again quickly but if mr joe biden wins the elections the gold definitely is going to continue the rise and it's going to continue rising all the way at least to hit that resistance on 1931 and it's even possible that the gold is going to even continue the rise all the way to hit the highest ever on 2070. so the scenarios if mr trump wins the elections are really um, less and the scenarios if mr joe biden wins are actually a lot more so we are gonna have to wait to see how the market reacts so the big question is shall we open our trades before or during or after the elections now definitely right the right answer is going to be after the elections we have to be very wise and careful and see how the market is going and all we need to do is just go along with it don't try to find them to fight them to fight the, the trend don't go against it at all um it's going to be really unwise at all to do that so there are now actually other things you know something this crazy is gonna be this week is gonna be crazy seriously um what happened actually just a few minutes ago um mr um i forgot if he, mr boris johnson he has just announced a few minutes ago that uh or sorry he announced a four-week uh lockdown in england to fight the uh, spread of the COVID 19 virus that is definitely going to be bad for the pound the pound itself actually is gonna continue the fall and what we can expect from the pound actually at the opening on monday um it might actually rise a little bit more maybe for 60 pips or 56 pips only to hit the strong resistance at 1.2962 and right after that we can expect from the uh, pound as uh, pound usd to fall all the way to that support level at 1.26889 now the thing is we need to pay attention because the pound actually is gonna fall down because its own weakness uh, however remember if mr mr trump wins the elections the dollar is gonna get stronger if mr trump wins the elections the pound usd is definitely gonna fall and sink down 
is definitely gonna sink because the dollar is gonna gain strength because it's it's the pound USD. And if Mr. Trump wins the elections, the USD is gonna rise, the pound is already falling, and therefore we can expect from the pound to actually fall faster uh, than ever. However, if Mr. Joe Biden wins the elections, the USD itself is gonna weaker, and the problem here is the pound is also weak, so we cannot expect much uh, much volatility on the pound USD if in case the Mr. Joe Biden wins the elections. So I'm trying to tell you here is, um, it's all up to the results or the uh, the votes to see who is going to win the election, the election. And after that, we can decide exactly what we can do with the market. But one thing I'm really sure of, the pandemic is controlling what's going to happen in the market. For example, the problem here, guys, is the timing. The timing of the elections is really is actually it's the same as the time of the release of the vaccine of the COVID-19 virus. So, for example, let's say Mr. Joe Biden, he wins the elections, right? And of course, uh, when he wins the election, the USD dollar is going to get weaker. However, if he wins on 3rd of November, then on 10th of November, they announced that the releasing of the COVID-19 virus and the vaccine is ready. Did I say the release of COVID? Okay, let me just rephrase that. If they announce on 10th of November releasing the vaccine for COVID-19 virus or even the cure of the virus, that's going to be, of course, very good for the currency and the pair going to fly up, ignoring what happened during the elections or during the uh, ignoring what happened um, as, as, the, as an outcome of Mr. Joe Biden's winning. So let's say, for example, if they decided or they announced that the vaccine will be, is going to be delayed or even cancelled or maybe moved to the next year, that's, of course, going to be even worse for the currency and the USD pair is going to continue getting uh, weaker again. So it's all actually the problem is these things are going to happen during the same time. So we always have to be careful and just keep your eyes open to the news my friends because as i said really nothing is clear right now we only have to wait for the outcomes of the votes of the united of the elections in the united states so if you remember also um last elections in 2016 um, it was really obvious that Miss Hillary Clinton is gonna win the elections and nobody expected Mr. Uh, Mr. Trump to win the election. I'm trying to remember actually what happened. I'm trying to remember the, the, the numbers. I think I need to Google it. But anyway, uh, the numbers were actually Miss, Miss Hillary Clinton was almost celebrating winning the, the, the presidency. And in just three or four hours, Mr. Job, Mr. Uh, Trump, he actually has turned over the, the table and won the election. Nobody knows what happened, but it happened. And the same might happen right now. So now Mr. Joe Biden is actually taking the lead of the votes in, in the poll. And we really don't know what will going to happen. We need to wait and see. And therefore, um, I just wanted to let you know, guys, what you should be expecting from the market if Mr. Biden wins or if Mr. Trump wins and you have to be careful also if you if you must enter a trades before the elections i suggest that you can go to the to short the pound usd and be sure to close your options or you, your positions uh before the announcement or the, the elections uh, being announced and i think that's about it because we don't we really don't know what what, what will gonna happen so again let's be careful and be opening our our ears and eyes and you will see me again on um, Wednesday morning when I'm going to make the new weekly analysis video and I'm going to send the signals based on what is going to happen. So until then, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.